We're making a tap-down shooter. You have one hour. Go. People tend to like when something looks good, so I'm going to start with some assets. You're using assets? Mm. We are allowed free assets, right? What are the rules? 2D tap-down shooter, one hour, free assets. Is that it? <laughs> Is there anything? It's up to you. You're right? a judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the walls because I'm going to have rooms. Five time I'll get some assets, but if not, this is it. I made movement, but I also made the background white, so you can't actually tell anything's moving. Shall I have the Wraith character, or shall I have the Ogre as the player? I think oh, the Wraith. Oh, they're so cute. I you're fully make... animated, Rick? Yeah. That's, wait. <laughs> I, that's cheating. You didn't say I animations, you, you said fight. free asset. You know what's a free asset? An asset I've already made. A long time ago for a different game. Well, this is He's gonna an old take game. as long to actually find this asset this... as to make it. <laughs> no, it's you in here. I'm swear. looking for assets while I'm using the best assets in the world. <laughs> this is why I'm everyone looking... loves Godot. You don't need a game to look good, it just needs to be open source. This. That's the true secret Beautiful. of a game. Whoa! Oh, how is it How's it moving already? Working. I'm here on behalf of the Godot community to win. Oh. I like the Godot community, actually. They're not bad. I'm here on behalf of the Unity community to try not to make a fool of myself. Khan, what are you using Godot for? Yes, I am. What's your uh, favorite new feature? Well, the, the new tile map is sick, so that's probably my favorite feature. I've got a camera system where it kind of follows the player a little bit. I got grid lines, but they're messed up. They're supposed to be dark and light and dark and light, but they're not. Boop. No, those are light. Hey, Tim, would you be able to mumble a bit more so we can't hear you, please? I will try not just... to mumble. I've been called the Mumble King before. Is that what your fiance says in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start typing some stuff. Kind of you? Are you just pasting that in? You watched our first video where I cheated. Wait, no, I'm typing I, it all. I was gonna not. I was gonna not <laughs> cheat this time. I don't know. Let's see how. What's your typing yeah, speed, Just because you're cheating doesn't mean everyone else is okay. Rick likes to accuse feel. people of things. <laughs> it's just if you accuse everybody else, then it can't come back on you. I feel like this is supposed to be in space, so I'm gonna make it in space. That definitely looks like a sky. What, my game world? How does that look like a sky? That's supposed to be grass. It was sarcasm. I think I need a shooting script. What else do I need? Finish game script. Need movement. That was important. Shooting. I need an import from Godot library script. I'm putting a gnome in my game. Space gnome? Yeah, exactly. You get it. Okay, that's an unusual combo. How did you do the animation? Imported the Unity package and dropped it into my project, and then it was like, ta-da! Oh my goodness. That's how you make that a game. That was very good. Yeah. We're allowed to use assets today, right? Yes, but we can still give you <laughs> for it. I can't say the S word. Space. Space, exactly. I'm just naming my word. variable space gnome. Do we have to have a space gnome? Is that the rule? Yes. Didn't you tell me it was a twin stick shooter? Are you guys it's, making a twin stick shooter? It's a top down, <laughs> but you know what? Top I got down. my trusty ah. Xbox 360 controller from a decade ago. And I think I'm gonna make this controller friendly. I don't have time for such things. I'm gonna make the best game. It doesn't move. Why does it not move? It's supposed to move. Okay, right. error. We've got our first error. No rigid body. Oh yeah. Okay, forgot all that stuff. Sorry about it. Do you have a rigid body on your stuff, Tim? Oh, I got a rigid body, all right. Hey, keep it clean. Do you know what I'm setting my gravity <laughs> to? Zero. I hate that theory. You know what my space gnome's gonna do in my space garden? He's gonna shoot seeds. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep it clean. We're gonna have stuff we I can actually use in the edit. Oh, I got Super controller serious. movement working. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. He moves around. He's missing an arm right now. I don't really know why the gnome is missing an arm. He yeah, lost it in space. He's, he's a one arm gnome in space in a garden and he can move around with a controller. I am trying to get shooting to work because I want to shoot some enemies. I want you to shoot enemies oh, as well. It's a shooter. Bad. What language That's are you programming in in Godot? GD script. It's Godot's own scripting language. Oh, I don't have a bullet prefab. Oh. Why don't you have a bullet prefab, Rick? That sounded mean. That sounded Grant Abbott level of mean. Oh, I got, he shoots his seed at stumps. He what? Your whole game is just innuendo. <laughs> Yay, I can shoot. What are you shooting? Whoa. It's just smaller Godot icon. <laughs> How can you even ask that question? Uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do, Laurie? I, I'm never in the habit of using Unity events, so I'm going to play around with Unity events a little bit today, I think. Don't be disappointed if I completely mess it up. <laughs> I'm so out of practice with it. Public Unity event, what should we call this one? Hit enemy. Cursor. Bouncing bullets. 
is the name of the game. Oh, you're gonna make your bullets bounce. Ooh. Yeah, it's all gonna be rigid bodies. He's a tank with bouncing bullets. I'm starting I to get a just, feeling like, that up. someone might have prepared beforehand. I got, check out this crosshair. You know what I'm gonna add? The murder bunnies. They would make great enemies. Okay, this guy's They're my favorite. His name is Bucket. He just screams, Bucket! I'm to copy my screen. entire player script onto the enemy. Okay, something hasn't been assigned. Bullet prefab. Okay, I got one of those. Ah, oh, the stress of it all. Oh yeah! Oh, that didn't make sense. Why are you not shooting in the direction of the mouse? Okay, something else is wrong. It's all good though. Progress. I'm just hanging out in this console, this error console, all day long. Okay, Rick, you idiot. You've done another thing wrong. Join Godot. Just need a rigid body. Set the gravity to Tim Russwick. Oh yeah, look at this. Shooty, shoot, bang, bang. <laughs> I forgot I had your phone. Okay, so you're pixelated. Why are you pixelated, Tim? Why are you doing that? Pixel Don't Tim is my worst me. enemy. I'm Pixel Tim, Pixel Tim, I like to make my face look pixelated. <laughs> pixelated all day long. Okay, I got an enemy in, but he doesn't move. So is he an enemy or is he just more wood to shoot at? You guys want to know a, a secret for some animation yes. that I can show? Hey, kid, you want to know a secret? <laughs> you want to know a secret? I have Inkscape. I'll have a base character and then I'll rotate them to one side and exaggerate one of the sides. So like I made his foot bigger, made his hand bigger, I made this bigger. And then in Construct, when you pull in all that in animation, you've got your base model and then you've got one where he's leaning to the left and then you just flip it to the right. And then there's an animation setting called ping pong. And so if I turn on loop and ping pong and I set this to like 15, he runs. He's a little, he's a little glitchy. That guy Have you is called like the police super yet? interested in you. I don't know if he, he's a good guy or a bad guy yet. <laughs> Looks exactly like me though. He's all up in your business. Ready? Here's my game. It's all, this is all happening procedurally. Like the enemy is doing all this random movement. There's a whole bunch of code getting it to do that. I'm this like, wow, that looks really good. And then I realized what you were doing. Okay, great. Enemy is shooting at me. I'm shooting at the enemy. And our bullets actually collide. <laughs> but no one's dying. This is such a nice game. You can just shoot and no one dies. You're just friends. We are now halfway done in 30 minutes. Forgot the rigid body again. This is a habit. You need a win condition, Rick. You're a win condition, Tim. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't act. That's not. Mm. It is kind of cool, <laughs> but I don't want that to be every Unity game I make. Things end up spinning around. Right. It's kind of lazy <laughs> development. The bullet needs to be a trigger. I think that's the problem. Uh. Hmm. You have another error. Thank you. I just don't know how to fix it. As Khan makes the game, he's getting closer and closer to his monitor. I'm pretty sure he's just going to come through it sometime and just, it's, I'm going to see his hands, like, just creating the whole game. Oh my god, the bucket animation looks amazing. Oh, I haven't tagged the enemy. That's the problem when you're trying to do things too quickly. The player doesn't know it's a player because it's not tagged as the player. The enemy doesn't know it's an enemy. They're running around not knowing who's who. It's chaos out there. They want to be there for you, Rick. I don't know if they do. I think they want to go hang out in Godot because it's shiny. Oh, 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 that's too quick. Okay, progress, progress. Oh, yes, there we go. Game Perfect. looks so good. It's all yeah. about working smarter as opposed to being more capable. Wait, that didn't come out right. Yeah, yeah. Bam, pachoo. I'm curious about the top-down shooter part of your game, Rick. What do you mean? This yeah, is it's kind of side-scroller. <laughs> this is top. Isn't it? Dude, give him a break. He's using we'll Unity. Stop. That's practically a handicap. It's top down ish. <laughs> we still love you, Rick. Stop it. Rick, you had one job. Make a top down shooter. <laughs> hey, who invited this guy? <laughs> hey, he did the 2D part. He's like, that's good. It's good enough. 2D is fine. Okay, now I can kill enemies. Progress. Unity engine.scene management. Everyone always Sorry. says the most that's exciting it. part of game dev is scene management. The best part. That's why I got into it. I know, that's why we got into game dev for scene management. I have so much time, I'm doing level design. Oh, forgot to make it a trigger. So idiot. Oh, wait, do we have to do level design? Well, I'm doing it. I don't know about you, you guys. You did level design. You've got a level, Tim. It's like one room. Wait, I can't see the Godot bot in your walls anymore. Is this even a Godot game? It is still the Godot bot underneath. Underneath the darkness, there's light. Don't worry. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this into a stealth game. Oh yeah, go dot. What is the right way to say that crazy software? Go dot. Go, go dot. Go go gadget. Go dot. Go dot makes a lot more sense. Yeah, the enemies feel the view, so if you get into it, it starts chasing and shooting you. Ooh. But you can get out of it. So it is a stealth just... game. 
Dun 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 dun. Impressive, Khan. Thank you, Tim. You can buy my course. <laughs> I don't have enough time to set like pathfinding up, so I'm just gonna, you know, make a dumber version of that. Oh yeah. Bloom glow type stuff. Let's pump it up. Let's be crazy with our bloom. Oh, red glowing eyes. Okay, that's and cool. Everything else. You have ten minutes left. A pickup. That's what I need. I'll make a pickup. Oh wait, you don't actually mean pickup truck. Am I too American? I feel like I'm too American. I got Z order working, sort of. He goes behind the tree now. And in 3D, that's not Ooh, a big deal, yay. but in 2D, that's a big deal. Now the enemies are patrolling. And if I get into <clears> their <throat> range, they'll start chasing me. And if I get out, back to patrolling. All right, Rick, what are you doing over oh, here? Uh, I'm trying to fix all my code that I've broken. I'm gonna add particles for when they die. I'm just gonna add a splosion explosion, and it's gonna be great. Two minutes left. I basically have a game now. All right, I got particles. Boom. Three, two, stop. So I made a space gnome simulator in space where you shoot seeds at wood and also there are murder bunnies that try to murder you and you have to shoot them first. I'm playing it on a controller. There's an accuracy rating to my seeds as well, so doesn't 100% shoot straight. So this is my game. The main thing of the game is that it's a stealth game. So you have these enemies and you can shoot them, but they have this line of sight like a flashlight almost and if you get inside of it they start shooting you and chasing you but if you get outside of it they go back to their patrolling line the goal of the game is just kill all of them and you need to get to the end and when you do you win awesome that's awesome you got this little character he's shooting orbs at dudes got some particle effects when you pick up this shield thing it speeds up your fire rate Gotta dodge the enemies. I didn't quite get enemy health in there. Oh, I've got a lose condition if you smack into them. If you get all the way to the end of the level, then you win the game. Hi there, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought won this battle. And if you're interested in learning how to make your very own games, be sure to check out our website at gamedev.tv where you'll find some of the world's most popular online game development training courses. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Okay, catch you later.